Defending Division Three champion East Grand Rapids entered Saturday's state championship game seeking a sweet repeat. What it got after a slow start was an unforgettable finish. The Pioneers had 13 yards of offense in the first quarter and fell behind 7-0 when Orchard Lake St. Mary's running back Dominique White scampered into the end zone from 10 yards out. Things got better in the second quarter for East, starting with a goal line stand and ending with a 68-yard touchdown run from Joe Glenn Denning, which tied the game at 7-7. With momentum on their side, the Pioneers scored on their first possession of the third quarter, taking a 14-7 lead on an 8-yard touchdown run from Glenn Denning. Orchard Lake St. Mary's responded by scoring on its next drive, and the back-and-forth battle ensued. The score remained tied at 14-14 through regulation. The game headed to overtime, and the fun was just beginning. The two teams exchanged field goals in the first overtime, and then EGR quarterback Cal Blair hooked up with his brother Chris in the second overtime to extend the game once again. Both teams went on to score touchdowns in the third and fourth overtimes as well. After Glenn Denning led off the fifth extra period with a four-yard touchdown run, and the Pioneers came up with a stop on fourth down, the longest game in the history of the MHSAA playoffs finally came to an end, and EGR had another state championship. For East Grand Rapids coach Peter Sturzma, it's his fourth state title since joining the Pioneers in 2000. Through 100 games, he now has a record of 88 and 12. These guys don't know how to quit, and they just won the state championship because they wanted to. Unbelievable. I mean, our kids just wanted to win this game, and they willed this to win. And look at that. I mean, unbelievable. I've never seen a high school game like that. I've never seen any game like that. And uh, what a high school game. I tip my hat to Orchard Lake. What a great football team they are, well coached, and great players. And our kids came out on top. Glenn Denning finished with 179 rushing yards to go with his four touchdowns. I don't know, it's just a, it's an amazing feeling, that's all I know. It was a little tiring, but we knew we were in a pretty good shape, and so we fought it out. Back to back, 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 back to back.